Welcome guys to another video. I'm sorry of a delay with some of these videos, getting them up. I have a few camera issues. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, have probably seen the problems I've had, so I'm doing this one on the phone. So if there's a bit of a glitch in the quality, I apologise. Um, right, today I just wanted to talk about glazes, all-in-ones and compounds and the differences and why do we use them. Uh, most of you have uh, seen a few of these online before. You've seen some of the pictures of... Uh, AM seal probably, uh, may have seen this one uh, last year I think I used it, um, it's uh, like a cleanser all in one. More recently I uh, used this one uh, for tech which is uh, part paint by glaze and sort of all in one with a bit of sealant, a bit more complicated. Um, I'll go through the whole lot and discuss them anyway. So the main differences between these and this, this is a uh, compound. So most of you body shops, you know, detailers, weekenders, we've seen this, uh, men's earner. It goes by the level of cut on the side of the bottle. It does exactly what it says, it cuts, it cuts the paint. So if we're removing paint defects, we're going to be using this or um, a finishing polish on a two-stage polish. I won't complicate it by talking too much about that. Um, next we have glaze. Right, glaze, the only way I can put it is it's a bit like putting makeup on your car. Um, what the AM glaze does, as you've probably seen Alan's video lately on AM Details uh, YouTube channel, it cleans the paint and it sort of fills the paint. It leaves behind a Carnuba glaze, if you will. Um, while it cleans, it also lays down a really deep gloss. So if you were going to put a, a wax on uh, or a sealant and you you know done your claying stage, I'd recommend you use this after. Let it bond for you know several minutes, go make a cup of tea, come back and then come back and either hit it with a, a synthetic sealant uh, like the AM seal or the Carnuba wax which uh, I am make. Right, this one here, now we call this a glaze, this is glean. This actually has a level of one on the cut scale. So when we're using it, if we used it on, say, a finishing pad, um, we'd still get good results. You'd probably remove swirls or you know fill them. Um, you could go to a yellow pad and get better results. It all depends on your machine and your technique. But what this does, this is actually a sealant. So as well as being a glaze laying down, the glazing filling properties, it actually puts down a uh, uh, hyperprobic sealant. So you get the... Uh, properties of the beading and uh, you know protection levels. You can top with wax after. I always top with wax after or a um, quick detailer just to make sure. So that's for tech. One of the older ones here, Bright, uh, Bright Max, Black Max Glaze, uh, Ultra Fine Polishing Glaze. What it means is the Ultra Fine, uh, it's got particles in here which gradually break down uh, to remove any defects as well as uh, leaving um, some filling properties as well. Uh, no silicon in this product whatsoever. So you'd use this with a machine on say a finishing pad. You can use it by hand but better results are probably by the rotary or a DA. Um, same thing, always follow up with a sealant or a wax. Quite a good product, really good on obviously dark cars, black, navies, you know, dark blues. Uh, probably use it on reds as well. Um, another good one that. This one, Halo Pro, Achilles Paint Prep. Um, it may you may have seen this uh, on my page, probably on the uh, on the Golf or on the Polo. I used it. Uh, similar thing. It's like a paint cleanser, but it actually leaves behind some filling properties as well. So they're all pretty much of a muchness. These products. It all depends on your personal taste. This one's really good. Um, there's still loads in the bottle. Quite good value for money. So that's the Valley Pro paint prep. So it's it's like a glaze and a cleanser all in one. What we call an all in one. Going back to AM glaze. Now you probably wondered why I've got the sealant here. What you can do, you can do combos. So you've clayed your car and you're going to move on to the glaze. You apply the glaze, let it bond for a while and then come in with the AM seal. This is going to take some bonding, so I'd recommend you leave it for quite a long time to cure before you buff off. You can then, day after, 
24 hours, follow up with their wax. It's a really good combo. I can recommend that one. The next one, everyone knows I'm a big fan of these. This is TDG. Um, so I recommend their sealant. And then on top, maybe the same day if you've got time, their, uh, their, their uh, Tropic Show Wax. Uh, this one's a brand new tin. Have used a little bit of it as a sample. Really good wax. It's a good follow up. Right, one of the last ones I want to talk about is this Harrison head. Um, some people have uh, seen this obviously on my page, and several other followers have, uh, you know, clicked the link and decided to purchase some. Um, Sam, great guy, makes this down in Kent. Uh, this is a glaze, but it's like a wax. So it's a paste wax and all in one glaze. It's naturally blended. Um, this one's got oils in it, especially for dark colours. Some of you may have seen a video of this, some short videos of the BMW, just a, a trial I did in it to show you. Um, you can put it on with your fingers, um, or you can put it on with an applicator pad, um, and then let it cure, and then buff off. Now, probably thinking, well, what is it? Is it a glaze? Is it a wax? It's a, it's a bit of both. It's got some fillers, or filler agents in it, which uh, tend to uh, cover up some of the defects in the paint and give you a really rich gloss. So that's another one to keep uh, an eye open for. Well, once again, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my page and uh, click on the link for Instagram. And I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot.